D. Boudreaux is asking, question for the both of you. What historical event do you never tire learning about? And why do you find it so fascinating? Thanks. Good question, Armin. Go first. Mm. Um, well, as of right now, anything about the early history of Islam, I find extremely fascinating. And I wish I had, like, I have in my, uh, I have read some, and I'm, I, I have added a lot to read upon this because it's the most fascinating thing ever. Uh, the reason why I find it fascinating is because it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma because not everything about it. It's like the more people look into it, the more it seems like our uh, current understanding of what happened in early history of Islam is wrong. I'm not coming up with like conspiracy theories that people have come up with. Like, I don't know what, like that, that our understanding is like, it's not like, that we don't know like there's so many things that we don't know and some of the information that is coming out and some of the new uh, analysis of the primary sources that we have is seems to come up has in the past hundred years giving us conclusions that are completely different from the standard narrative of what muslims have been telling historians you know for the past 1200 like a thousand years or so yeah. um so so the fact that it's changing and it's it's hasn't been solved yet and it's going through a discovery mode like it's like it's just so fascinating um and i've i've studied a little bit and i find it fascinating and i wish and i right now i'm reading other things because i need to for for the purposes of our streams and everything but i wish i had more time to dedicate to that because it's just so the fact that the fact that it's an ongoing process of this like more many other things from history around that time has already been analyzed um but this one is still being you know, myth, myth. yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Ali, Ali wants me to. No, I, I, I was going to say the guys. same thing. The the late antiquity yep. antiquity period uh, of uh, mm -hmm. history. That's where a lot of the Islamic history is. There's like a two hundred year sort of vacuum. It's there's a, a vacuum. period of history. Yeah, yes. in that history that is just we, we don't really know what happened. I mean, the first biography of the prophet that survived uh, of of Muhammad is uh, it was published like two hundred years after his his death. The mm -hmm. first collection of hadith is uh, 215 years afterwards. And before that, you had little spotty things, but it's an oral tradition. So it's really interesting. It's actually, I mean, I'm especially interested in right now because like the, the novel I'm writing actually revolves around some of that history that's in the background of it. So it's, uh, yeah, that that I never tire of. I, there's a couple of people I want to mention. Tom Holland, you know, we've had him on the show. It's one of the best episodes I think that we ever had. Like it's the, the one that I enjoyed the most at least. Uh, so do check out that episode uh, because we talked about this very specifically and he's a phenomenal historian. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is follow Ian D. Morris on Twitter. Um, he he usually has like really, really interesting stuff about about this history. So yeah, that 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 I, I think we're both aligned on that. That is one of the most okay, fascinating cool. historical things. Hey guys, if you want to join these streams live, get your comments and questions read by Ali and Armin and the guests, and most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.